Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. I'm Stella Gonzalez, as you know by now. She made one YouTube video and she got caught right. I wanted to do another makeup tutorial. Last time my eyelashes really were not complying the way that I wanted them to. So hopefully that's not a problem this time. With that being said, as you may notice, I've DIY highlighted my hair. I just really wanted to switch it up. It's not perfect because like my sister did it and she's not a professional but like i said before we're trying to comply with stay-at-home orders so there are worse problems in the world than someone's hairstyle <laughs> so anyways i'm going to first try my face if i've used any of these products in the last video i'm going to link it below but i'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because that's just going to take too much time so i'm going to grab my primer fenty beauty now I'm going to take my True Match Lumi, like last time, for a glowy look. Okay, she glistened a little bit already, period. I am getting a little tan. I'm going to mix two foundations. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. One is 115 Ivory, the one I used last time. And the other one is 228 Soft Tan. A beauty blender again. So now I'm going to take my same concealer as last time, Kiss Dark Circle Concealer. But I'm gonna take my same beauty blender. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, I also want to up here, up here, up here, up here again, here again. I want to do it down here. To do that, pot and mate. My accent is so bad, I don't know why I keep doing it. Now I'm going to contour. I'm going to take my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast once again. This is what it looks like inside. My Elf Angled Blush Brush. Honestly, with makeup, like even though some brushes are meant for some things, sometimes they work for others. So this is meant for blush, but I'm going to use it for contour because if I'm sculpting my face, I found it to be convenient. So I'm gonna take a little bit, remember to tap. Before I forget, because I do everything out of order, it seems like, I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier <clears throat> translucent powder again, and I'm going to bake under my eyes and the same place where I basically just put concealer. I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush. Like I said, I put powder in the lid and then I apply it. Right here. I'm just gonna let that set. I'm going to take my pointed crease eyeshadow brush by Profusion to contour my nose. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with my Joa Wooden Brow Pencil. I'm going to brush my hair up again. Okay, so I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side, but I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna to take too long. So I will be back in a second. So now that that's done, I'm going to contour my forehead again because we can't be walking around here with highlighted ass eyebrows, okay? So I'm going to take my angled blush brush again, and then I'm going to take my same Becca Sunlit Bronzer. I also forgot to like blend in my nose contour, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, enough of that. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow, which is my favorite part. For this look, I'm going to use my Morphe 39L Hit the Lights palette. Guys, this is literally one of my favorite, 
one of my favorite palettes. The colors are so freaking pretty. I'm gonna try to open this and show you. Look how pretty these colors are. Crazy. So before anything, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Morphe Eyelid Primer. Like I said, I just use my fingers because it's easiest. I'm gonna take my Morphe Y16 brush and I'm gonna use a neutral color. It's called My Type. This is brown right here. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. Now I'm gonna use my Morphe Angled Shadow Brush. I don't really know the official name because it faded. And then I'm going to use the color Hook Up the same palette, this one right here. I'm gonna put that on my crease and then, like I said, I kind of pat it down a little bit first. And then I'm gonna go in with that same brush I had before and blend it out. I'm gonna clean up a little bit afterwards so Usually my advice is don't worry about like how messy it gets. You can always fix the product later. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the color Daring. It's in the same palette. I'm just gonna stick to this palette this whole time. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild liner brush. And I'm gonna do like eyeliner, this eyeshadow. I'm gonna be creative today. Okay, I'm going to clean up with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I have to go over it again because Damn concealer. I'm gonna touch my eyeshadow up with the same pointed crease eyeshadow brush. Add more brown to it. Then I'm gonna add more powder into my eyes. I also like eyeshadow under my eye. So I'm gonna take my RK by Kiss Beauty C Curve Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to go in with the same brown as I used on my outer lid. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Sometimes I'm gonna blend it a little bit because I don't like how prominent it looks. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. the other side honestly this could be the look but like I said before I'm extra so we're gonna keep going I'm gonna blend out my translucent powder now 
to take my Miracles makeup powder brush. Blend out my powder ones. Now I'm going to blush. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. My RK Beauty Fair Blusher. The Sweet Cheeks Palette. It's called Living Bear. I'm going to take this right here. It's like a peachy... It has a little shimmer to it. Guys, this is literally from the drugstore and probably cost me like $4. It does what it needs to do, so. I feel like blush makes such a big difference. Like I probably looked dead before when I didn't put it on. I'm gonna take my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, my Morphe and Jeffree Star brush. I'm gonna spray my brush first with Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal. Spray my face too. This is usually so that, that it stays, and the highlight is a lot more prominent. There will never be a day if this doesn't amaze me. Now I'm gonna do my lashes. I got these from AliExpress. It's now where I'm starting to get my lashes from because they're fairly cheap and they're pretty good quality if you ask me. I'm gonna take my tweezers. Like I said, just use any tweezers. I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Lash Glue. So that's one arm. I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, so the glue was luckily cooperating a lot better than last time. I still try to like use my fingers. Oh, Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna do my lips now using the Laura Mercier Red Chocolate Lip Liner first. Okay. Like I usually do, I'll fill it in. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty UT, Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, and fill in the lips. Okay, this look is a little more dramatic, but last time I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Spray, spray, spray. And this is our final product. So I probably do this like for a night out. It is a little more dramatic and I wouldn't do this as an everyday look necessarily, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a comment down below on what you wanna see next. Whether it's makeup related, like I said, I much rather not just go through like what I'm doing, but also do like chit chat get ready with me's and try on hauls or advice videos i'm really gonna be feeding off of what you guys give me and i really want to make sure that i'm catering to what you want to see so thank you guys for watching and please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and stay tuned for the next video stay safe